Right. Lads, okay, tonight's problem happened on the weekend against Hibiscus Coast. From a goal kick, they were able to build up from the back quite comfortably without too much pressure and penetrate us with a pass generally from their two or, uh, from their three or four into their six, eight or ten, or even worse, into the nine. Secondary problem was they sometimes came into the two or the five and did the same thing. So we're going to try and stop that, okay? So tonight's objective is uh, to improve our organisation of our pressing in the final third, to stop the opposition defensive line playing a penetrating pass that breaks through our front press, okay? So the red team, which are wearing orange bibs tonight, they're going to be hibiscus. They're going to try and build out from the back from their goalkeeper. Every time it'll be from the goalkeeper, okay? Um, so they'll play out looking to build out play with their back line, two, three, four, and five, trying to find the six, eight, or ten, or even find the nine directly, okay? The greens... We're going to look to try and stop that with our press, trying to win the ball as high up at the park as we can without getting penetrated, okay? So the first line is our 9 with our 11, 10, and 7 giving support, and then we've got our 6 and 8 behind that. So the red's objective, you can see the lines. The field is pretty much 40% of the field with diagonals in, and then a goal here, which is representing the 9. They're going to try and build up play, play through the 6, 8, 10 combo, into the nine or if they can find the nine directly that'll be worth a goal on the flip side if green can win the ball they'll go to goal and try and score if the reds that are wearing orange play and they lose possession to the green and then the green lose it back to the oranges that will be stopping play straight away okay so then we'll just restart at that i'm looking to replicate the problem as many times as we can so we can get set for green height this week if the same things occur. Okay, does that all make sense? Cool, let's jump in and let's give it a crack. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk it through. Okay, lads, can we get set up early? So Mark, as the one, I want you to put it down centrally so you can play either side of the field and then see how we go from there, okay? You can move the cone if you need it, just to give you an idea of where the six yard box would be. It's all right. Okay. Play! And just hold it up there, okay. Seiji and uh, Tim as our three and our four. I want our gaps to be equal or close you know not uh, the right gaps but also be realistic to how football is now we actually drop off a little bit deeper to give yourself that time from the nine coming in okay yeah no, that's a good little rule here we go play Good, and hold it up. Okay, Harrison, as the two, I want you to start wide to keep the shape. That will give us time in midfield to play, yeah? Okay, so keep sure we're wide. Steven, as the five, I want you to keep the width as well so we can play out from the back, but also just to give the, the width in midfield for us to play our six, eight, ten, nine. Okay, sweet. Perfect positioning. Good little start from our back line. Play. Oh, come on, Mark. Better than that. Here we go. Another one. Another one. Wake up, wake up. Get up, get up, ready to go. Just play the three. Get on the run. Good. Okay. My six, eight, and ten, we're always looking for passing lanes to try and receive. If we can, I want to be on the half turn. If we're back to goal, make sure that we, com we combine to build our play up. Okay, worst case scenario, if we, we don't check our shoulders and be on the half turn, we can always go back and start again. Okay, try and keep our shape realistic. So feast maybe higher a little bit as the 10, and you're the 8 and the 6, yeah? Okay, here we go, play. Can we get in passing lanes to receive? And hold it up.
Okay, good that Fifi found that passing lane, but we had there just quickly, because I want to get the, I want to make sure that we're clear so then we can actually solve the problem. When Harrison was on the ball, can we give Harrison the ball again? Quickly, Mark. Lewis came into this pocket here. And baby, you were on the same line. So if he's the six in this passing lane, so keep coming, Lewis, because you were in here pretty much. And you're on the same passing lane, we can't find you. So that's when the rotation happened. You did it well, Fiefs, you dropped into there, but can you go and take his spot? So we've got different angles, okay? At least one or two passing lanes. So baby, come back in here. I want it to go into Lewis and then play it back and then see how we rotate from that angle. Here we go, play. Yeah, we're away. Think about our angles to play. Sugar, can we get higher as the 10? Now that we've got our shape. And hold it up. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the oranges. The only thing I want, Feast, is higher as the 10. And just check our shoulders. But I'm, I'm happy with that. Orange, just so we, we, we make sure we're clear, how do we score for orange? Perfect. The nine is the goal. That's what we're trying to hit. Okay, perfect. Now I'll start working with the greens to actually work on the problem that we're having. Okay, we'll play a phase and see how we go. I'll be looking at Ash as the nine. Yep, when you're ready. And hold, it was a turnover on a turnover. Ash, can we think about our positioning as the nine, how we can affect play to force them one way, yeah? So how we can force them to play either to their, their right centre back as the three, or their left centre back as the four, and that will dic that'll dictate behind you what happens. Perfect. So I love that you're taking one side, right? So just splitting that side, perfect. All right, he's all right. Play Good, I love that, Ash, how you bet the run. Can you cut off that pass? Oh, I love that too. And hold it up. Can we restart, restart with Mark at the one? Okay, because I want to improve the greens. So Ash showed one side, right? So Ash, show where you showed. So you were on this side. So we've, we've, yeah, you're probably a little bit more over here outside the box. So it forced it to go that way. So we can start reading from there what we're doing. I need you to be realistic, Carvey, though. Because can we just play straight into there, Mark, and get past? Could we play it straight into there? So we've got to think about our positioning as well, Greens. How high we are realistically to not get beat. We want to keep the ball in front of us, okay? So Ash starting one side. So even go another two or three steps that way, Ash. And force it to go to the, to the, uh, to the four. And now we can start reading that. Carvey, I would drop a little bit deeper. So if it does go in there, we're goal side. And then you can bend your run around and get tight pressure. And that just slides us across, right? Okay. So does that all make sense, Sam? Because it's mirrored on the other side. So if Ash takes that side, we're playing from there. Okay. Play. Bend a run, good. Now can we cut off that? And hold it up, hold it up. Okay, Sam, we're on this side of the field. So our seven's done really well. Split across, Lance has come across, and then you need to slide across too. Leave the far man. So you could come into there, and then what's the numbers situation? Orange v greens now in midfield. Four v three to greens, yeah? Also on that, that is about the distance you want to be because we've got our front line here, uh, our nine there, we've blocked them into this pocket here. 
if they do play that ball out there, you need to be slightly deeper where you are to be able to recover and chase back and try and close that angle. Yes, perfect. So we'll play from there. Sam, you're ready now. Play. Can you cut off the line? Can you cut off the line? Now get tight. Love that. Can we press it? Oh, he's done well. Drop Carvey, drop Carvey, right? Because that's the opposite side, what I was just saying to Sam. So now you drop in to make a 3v4 in midfield. And hold, that was enough. Can we get set up again? Ash is doing a good job of showing one side now. I'm just trying to still work out my 7, 10, 11 combo here. I'm sorry I have to stop, start, but that's all I have to do. So, Yep, Mark, when you're ready, play. And hold it up. Okay. What I'm after from here, even here, you saw it, right? You were going out. I'm, I want you to say I'm going to press. You did the last time, and you didn't say anything that time. And also, you guys can talk. If he goes, can we slide across? Yeah? Okay? And you guys can add to that as well, because you see it from behind. Okay? And what I'm after, Lance, as well, is you can pass on information to Ash as well, because you're seeing that in front, right? So play it back to Mark, who's then going to play it to Tim. Lance, you're going to press again like you did, but I want some vocal noise in here. Be realistic that he's in behind you. Yes? Play. Yell, Lance, yell. Bend the run. Good, good. We'll take that all day. Set up. Now we're starting to get a little bit of success at winning the ball. Carvey, be realistic of the distance. Yeah, perfect. Good. And hold it up. Perfect. Okay, what I like about that is Carvey, when it got out to Steve, we were touch tight. Okay? So the next one we play, we'll play it. But Ash, I want you to do it the other side to so take the other side. So then we'll see if you can do the same, yeah? So play it back. I want it back to Tim. And then Tim's going to play it to Steven. No, we're going to do this one first. Yep. So we're going to play Tim. Sam, tuck in a little bit. We're going to play Tim to Steven. Kartik's going to be touch tight as the seven. And then we'll play from that phase, and then we'll go to the other side. Yeah. Play. Touch tight, touch tight. Good. Now we're playing. Good. Play it, play it, play it. Go on. Okay. This is where we want it the other way, Ash. I just want to make sure that he gets it on the other side. So that's good, Carvey. I like that. Just remember that ball's going to go to the other side, so you're looking to make that 3v4 in midfield in our favor. Yes. When ready, Ash is set, good. Slide, slide, slide. And gone, gone. They've won it back. Go back. Does that all make sense, Sam? Perfect. Yeah, once we win it, I'm not looking quite at that yet. We're looking more at the defensive side because we want to win the ball high up without being penetrated. Okay. Yeah. Can you look to try and penetrate? Because remember, now I've got them organised. I'm looking for that pass that actually is played, played through. Just play through the midfield first time, yeah? Yep. Yep, play! Good, and play, 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 play! Good lads, and hold it up there. Okay, what I loved there was in midfield we were touch tight on the pass in, we read it, and we're close enough to actually force an error and a turnover and win possession. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. The only other thing that I'm going to say to my six and my eight, my six and my eight, think about the passing lane into the nine as well, uh, into their nine, because we want to cut that ball off. We're protecting it a little bit. Perfect. Tim, all I was saying to Harrison is now that we've got our good shape, 
can you try and look for our 6, 8 and 10 direct without using them? Because yep. the problem really is when the ball's coming from our two centre backs yep. centrally. Okay, play! Tight! Can we Sam? Good, press! Lovely! There we go, they're under pressure now. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we're looking for. A oh, while, wow. yeah. Get set, Ash, so we can get our problems sorted. Here we go, solve the problem. Tight, tight. And hold it up. We've won it back. We'll refay it. We'll reset. So hold it up there, Mark Green. Can I just reiterate, how are we scoring? How are we scoring, Green? Winning ball back and going to goal, okay? So now we're all set up and we've got quite good positioning. I've, just so you know, I've given these guys the license to play centrally into the midfield now, because that was the problem, okay? So we're trying to make sure that we're touch tight, taking away passing lanes, being touch tight when they receive, so they can't receive on their back foot or half turn and force them back, yeah? Okay, play. Tight, tight, good. Make him go back. Love that, love that. Yes, Ash. Go on, Sam, go on, Sam, go on, Sam. Good. Tight, tight, tight. That's all right, they're going sideways. Now that's that ball we don't want, good. That's that ball we want to be tight on. Go to goal, can we? Well done Green, what I liked about that was sometimes we were patient, they were switching it side to side, but it's all in front of us, they're not penetrating us. That's what I'm after. That's unlucky, I love that. We're winning it really high. And hold it up, hold it up. That was the transition. Hold it up, Tim. That was the transition. Good. Okay, and hold it up. Now I'm going to open it up that we'll just play free. So the say exactly what I'm after, the football problem. But now if green lose it to orange, we're going to keep playing the phase because green is really set now and we're starting to get rewarded. But then when we win it, can we go do good things? Can we get a shot off it? Get rewarded for the hard work for, for being pressed and being organized. Yeah? Okay. When you're ready, play. Tight, tight, lovely. Recycle, restart it, recycle, get our shape. Good, they're, they're still behind, they're still, they're still in front of us, they're still in front of us. Tight, tight, there we go, good. Here we go, Carvey, here we go, Carvey. Tight. Well played, Orange. Keep working, Green, keep working, Green. Yes, Sam, good pressure, Sam. That's good call, Ash. That's good call.
Tight. Good. We're so tight. We're so tight. They've got no options. Lovely, well done. Lucky Sam, go side, go side. Good, great neck. Well done. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Well done, Green. Well done. We got a shot off now. Can we finish it? Now, can we get that goal for our effort? Good talk, Jordan has the six, but who's tight there? Jordan, I love the talk, but we need someone picking up face here. This is going to be the last one, then we'll debrief. Can we get a goal, Green? Here we go. Last one, put it in, put it in. Right things, do the right things. Pressure, pressure, pressure. No split, no split, no split. And well done lads, jog it into me, jog it into me, well done. <laughs> come on in, come on in, we haven't finished yet. Let's go through this. Okay, so just remember what the, what the problem was from the weekend. The problem was once it got into our th their three or the four, what, was, what were they able to do with the ball? Perfect. Great answer. Into the six, eight, ten, or sometimes directly into the nine. Yeah, so what were we looking for from the nine to give us some kind of head start with their setup of play? So what were you doing, Ash? Perfect. How was he doing that? How was he directing them one way? Perfect. So he is standing to one side, pretty much saying, hey, play the three. And from there, that gave the opportunity of the, the next line of our 11, 10, and 7 to do what? Once he took that side, yeah, it literally gave them that head start in terms of, okay, most likely, if we're set up right, they're not going to ping it into there because we're going to have a 2v1. So they're probably going to play into this side, so we know we can slide across. And that's where the communication comes in, which I was talking about for Lance as the 10, that it's really important that he's talking to the 9, the 9 saying that he's going to go and press, or whether he's just keep, you can kind of read his play, but he may even say, I'm going to go press. Do you know what I mean? So from there, we get a good head start. And, and from that, once it got played into the side, and they played it into the 2, what was it asking of the 11 to do? Sam, so you're the 11. What's that? Perfect. So, so getting touch tight or bending our run, because then that forces them back. And then from there, we're already set. As that ball gets swung around, we're already sliding across. What was I after for 7 or uh, 11 if they were the weak side? So this being the strong side, 5's on the ball, 7's gone across, 10's gone into there. What was I asking of the 11 to do? Perfect. To slide in and make it an extra midfielder, so we've got a 4v3. Yeah, so that's all good. Then what was I after when it did get played into the six? So what was I after for the ten? What was what was the what was your job, Lance, as the ten? When the six got on the ball? Um, Perfect. Be touch tight, right? And the other option is to force them back because then we can restart. And 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 the six eight. What can they do to help the ten? 
press up, taking the, what, what lanes, like the passing lanes, what kind of passing lanes are they trying to cut off? Perfect, so like the eight, the 10, and even the nine angle, because if we can cut that off, then they can't go direct and bounce off and combo play, yeah? So do we feel comfortable enough for the weekend that we've organized? It may not always be successful, but we know what to do. If they break us, get behind the ball, restart, force them back, yeah? It's not always gonna be perfect, but we're gonna get a lot more success now that we've organized it. Perfect, everyone happy with that? Yeah. Cool, grab yourself a drink, good job. One second, I'll just I'll just turn this off.